Shai Gumi earlier visited Zamfara villages to have peace talk with bandits in the forest to negotiate with them on the need to surrender their arms. While addressing some of the bandits in a new video circulating online, Mr. Gumi claimed that the soldiers are stirring confusions with the aim of wreaking havoc. What I want you people to understand is soldiers, they themselves are not a saint. What I want you people to understand is soldiers that are involved in most of the criminalities are not Muslims. You know, soldiers have Muslims and non-Muslims. The non-Muslims are the ones causing confusion just to ignite crisis, Mr. Gumi said. There have been a lot of controversies on how he was able to locate the camp of some bandits operating in Zamfara and Niger state without security personnel in the intervention. Many have been displaced, killed and kidnapped by armed bandits who stormed communities in the north and southern parts of Nigeria to loot and burn homes. It is unclear that where the cleric claims sp sprang from, but he queried the bandits on why they should attack villagers. Gumi Sheikh also revealed that the soldiers involved in criminal activities are not Muslims. He further disclosed that non-Muslim soldiers are the ones perpetrating the evil act and the ones igniting the various crises in the north. However, Gumi Sheikh advised the bandits to avoid retaliating so that they won't kill innocent youths and children in the north. Why? Why would you say they will kill innocent? They have been killing so many innocent youth or innocent people across the north. So what do you think about Gumi Sheikh's statement about non-Muslim soldiers in Nigeria? Kindly leave your comments, but I don't believe if this man is saying the truth and is not a saint rather. Because for you to negotiate with bandits, that means you know what what is at stake. I beg soldier, I know they get Christian or Muslim. They only obey the last order. Shaikh, please don't spoil all the good work you have been doing. We need to respect the men of God and women of God, and you are a representative of God who are paying the ultimate price to defend this country. Why will you say they are not Muslims? A terrorist is a terrorist. Why will you say uh, some people are Muslims, some people are Christians, or some people are? Uh, I, we don't want to hear that a terrorist is a terrorist. According to Buhari, say he you know they negotiate with uh, criminals or terrorists. Why are you representing? Are you a government official or are you a security personnel that will start negotiating with terrorists? This kind of men who parade themselves as clean sheikh are the real problem in the north. How does he differentiate between Muslim and soldiers and non-Muslim soldiers in the war front? He is trying to bring the religious sentiments in security issues. If Gumi actually said this, then Nigeria must be at alert over Islamization agenda. Gumi, you will be consumed by thunder or generation for saying blasphemy. Wow. So many reactions on social media. Recruit only Muslims into the army and there will be peace. The hypocrisy in this man is gradually being exposed. He has regular meetings with the terrorists and plead for amnesty on their behalf. Do not be deceived. A Muslim is a Muslim. A terrorist is a terrorist. Tomorrow we claim that all Boko Haram members are Christians. Wow. This Gumi is confused. And I believe what he's saying is not even real. I believe maybe he's the one behind all these terrorists. Bandit. Why will you be negotiating with bandits? Can you imagine? This evil Fulani man a woman telling us men that Christian soldiers is their enemies and also telling them to start killing people in the remote area each time they went out. I don't trust this man. Why would people in Nigeria full of deceit and he calls himself Sheikh? Sheikh. Sheikh. You don't need to tell us. You are not Sheikh. You are just, you are just the leader of the uh, sector or the sect called bandit. Can you imagine this evil fool and human telling us men that Christians are the ones involved in terrorism? Gumi is a terrorist for supporting bandits. Being killed terrorism in Nigeria will hardly end because Nigerian Muslims don't want them being killed because they are all Muslims. A reaction also said he should have he should have his brain checked out. No wonder Erufai said the man 
Shahid Gumi doesn't know what he's saying. When will all these Muslim leaders stop talking rubbish and irresponsibly? Watching Gumi gradually inciting religious war into the Nigeria army. Okay, this man is now telling us that uh, if uh, the terrorists or the bandits have been given amnesty, they will stop all their killings. Have they given uh, uh, amnesty to ordinary, so ordinary person that still smaggy? Or because they have been given amnesty to this uh, Niger Delta, so they need amnesty for what? What is in their state? What are they fighting for? What are they agitating for? Why will government give them amnesty or ransom? You are doing evil. You are telling government to give you amnesty. I blame Buhari. I don't even blame the Gumi itself or himself. I blame Buhari. But before, when, when he said that he does not have time to negotiate with terrorists, that means the, 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 the federal government or the administration of the, of the Buhari-led APC is giving uh, ants or watching their or is it because they are full honey? I don't believe that. Is there any sense in this? Who is igniting conviction now? Let me assume you are right. So a Christian soldier killing a Muslim bandit is now Aram. So what do you have to say about Boko Haram killing Christian? And who was the chief of staff and defense who sent the Christians there? Are they not Muslims? Buratai, you have something to say. This is getting interesting. From issues of soldiers wearing hijab to Fulani headsmen to now Muslim bandits. Oh, you know that most of these CP of police, in as much as the Muslims should, you know, be checked and checkmate. This is sad coming from the Sheikh. This accusation isn't needed at this time of crisis. Such accusation could set back a lot of progress in the military. I have often suspected that Sheikh as an enemy of progress and a ardent jihadist. Yes, he has been paid to be doing all this. I can even remember vividly when Bishop Kuka uh, said uh, the whatever uh, the, the 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 terrorist or the the uh, the bandits. They are all Muslims. I know what happened. They even wanted to send him out of the north. They said he should pack his load. Because he's, he has said something about Buhari administration. Why will all this thing be happening? I would like you to share your comments and let's review all this. This uh, Nigeria is going, 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 I don't know. Nigeria is just, you know, going to the verge of collapse. That is why the indigenous people of Biafra are agitating for their own state or country so that everybody can be divided. Let the north take the north. Like the southwest or southeast, which is the Igbo part, take their own self, and southwest be on their own. Maybe that would be enough uh, in, enough security. Everybody should protect themselves. It seems this is what is going to happen. So don't forget to subscribe. I would like you to share your comment. Thank you for listening, and God bless.